because you have decided that you don't want a attorney. You want to represent yourself. Right? No, I don't want to represent myself. I have seen several positive cases. I don't want to represent myself. Not whole say I came um, on the legal career for someone for the challenge jurisdiction. I face myself. Okay, so you don't. But what about you don't want an attorney provided by the court? You're not paying for an attorney or anything like that for this case? Um, this is my tenth time coming here on this matter. I, I understand. I'm just, that, that, I, I, know, I don't know. He changed the prosecutor uh, so many times. There was times that the, there was no prosecutor here. You know, I don't know when, uh, when you came in. Uh, so I'm, I've been the prosecutor since... A few times there. I've been the prosecutor here since March of 2022. I've been here every day since, but there have been a couple of times where somebody from my office came and covered for me on things that I couldn't make it. Okay. Now, the reason why I want to have this conversation, like I said, not something that usually happens, but since you have declined any attorney appointed by the court or anything like that, for whatever your reasons are, that's why this conversation needs to happen the way it does. Okay? Here's the thing, I don't think you're a bad guy. I don't think you're like criminal at heart or this evil person. I think you fell on some hard times, you got in a bad way at some point, maybe you got yourself gifted up with things because of whatever circumstances you were going through at the time. I don't I'm not trying to jam you up here.
difference between a dismissal with prejudice or a dismissal without prejudice? Is what you're talking about? No, no, it's it, it dismissed prejudice. We can't try you again for the case. I mean, every, every, the only difference is that the dismissal happens in six months, or the dismissal. I think there's been plenty of time to contemplate the, the, the only difference is the only difference is that it happens in six months, and you don't have to show up to court again. So why can't it just happen now?
you're going to meet me halfway here. I can't just outright dismiss it today. You could. I, mean, I, I, I can't. All right? You could. You could. I'm, I'm, you're a young guy. You get your whole career ahead. But, man, but you, know, you, probably, you might never be the hey, guy like me again in your career. I'm you know? trying to be reasonable. I'm trying to respect you as a man. Okay. What you got going on. So, so I'm asking you to do the same for me. You just meet me halfway here. All that means is you're still getting what you want. You're getting the outcome you want, but it just it happens six months later, but you don't ever have to show up support again. But it's just going to slow me down. I'm, I, I've been not, here you're, not, you're, not, you're not under any restrictions during those six months. I, I know, but, but it makes me more, more target. And, and I've been, you know, the reason I'm here with this is because I didn't roll over and, and somebody tried moving on me with some other alcohol. It doesn't make it you know, Of course it does. No, they need Because to be. they, they doubled down. They doubled down. I didn't roll over, so they doubled down. And, and this is a bunch of them. Um, you know, there's so many things. There's no indictment. I, I don't intend to be passed on information. You know, this isn't a public venue. This isn't, a, you know, I think I'm in the wrong court. Here. This is okay. it's supposed to be a public court. That, that's the whole point of the court. You, you know what I mean? Are we, did, did you swear you to uphold the Constitution? I did. I'm not getting okay. I'm not going to get into all this right now. I'm just trying have a conversation with you. I got to get it to a point where we both uh, get what we want, okay? Yeah. Um, you get what you want, it's just it happens six months later than you want it to happen. And you don't have to ever show up to this court again, so it's less than for you. But if you don't take it, and you don't take any of the other offers, this is the lowest offer I can offer. Yeah, okay. Well, 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 I, I can't, I can't do that. Uh, so, I, I can't. Why, what would you need to contemplate in order to find a dismissal? Is this kind of like the outlook? No. Contemplation? Of no, I don't have the authority to just outright dismiss it. I have the authority to offer you this this plea. Okay. And all that means is that in six months, it gets dismissed. The only way it can get brought back on these charges is if you get picked up on something else and I decide to bring these charges back. I'm telling you kind of like um dismiss um without prejudice. It could be brought back. For six months. But then after the six months, then it's with prejudice. And I'm telling you I'm not gonna bring it back. Um what can it be um one month then? I'm not a kid here. You know, I don't get any more trouble. The way the police have acted against me, you know, I, 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 I get, I get, I get. You know, this is just, I get, I get. Okay. How about we meet in the middle, three months? No, it, you know, I'm not. This is no confession of, of you know, guilty plea. Not, not, not even a plea. This right here, but I'm not going to seek compensation for the damage, like, for the crimes that have been committed against me. You know, I, I think I really need to fully study. You know, you can file whatever you can file, whatever you want to file in civil I did, court. I need to get on. Civil court. Do, do you know this guy? I don't. That I made the complaint on? I don't. Because if you start making complaints, um, this could I don't. Bring you bring yeah. a lot of trouble. I um, don't. You got to file whatever you got to file in civil court. That's your right to do whatever you want to file in civil court. Okay. I don't handle civil court. Okay. Well, I handle well, criminal court. Well, so I'm asking you, can we meet? You want? You said, can we do the one? I said the six one. How about we just meet at three months? I want it today. You know, three months. What, 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 you what, 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 yeah, what difference does it make? It just, you know, it keeps the hooks in me. You know, I think. You know, Look, man, here's the difference, okay? Right. Here's I, the difference. I don't get the difference. The difference is, if you don't accept this, I'm telling you, this is the lowest I can go with this, the they could be offered. I can't just dismiss it today outright like that. This is the lowest I can go. Well, you and all the money for reason. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. So I'm saying. Six months. I said in six months they can be dismissed. The only way they can't be dismissed is if dismissed with prejudice at the end of six months. The only way you don't have to come back to court during that time, you don't have to answer to anybody. The only way it comes back is if you get in trouble again, you get arrested again, and then I would have to decide and file a motion to bring it back. I'm not going to do that. So at the end of the day, in six months, this thing gets dismissed with prejudice. You never have to answer to these charges again. That is the lowest I can go. I'm willing to meet you with three months because I can get away with that. 
I can't just commit this today. If you don't accept that today, and that way you never have to come to this court again for these charges, okay? Which is what you want. I don't want to come here for any reason. Okay. You know. and, but I don't have control over any. Nor do I. I don't have control over any futures or anything. I, yeah, I, I understand okay. that, but uh, so, it seems contractual so, on nature. Oh. So, here's the thing. If that doesn't happen, if you don't accept the six months or the three months, you want to do the three months fine. If you don't accept the three month ACD today, then what's going to have to happen is that's the lowest plea offer I can go. And if somebody rejects my low, and it's not even a plea offer because you're not pleading to anything. There's, there's no, um, uh, like, wrong, wrongdoing implied on that. There's no wrongdoing implied on that. It's no admission of any guilt. It, it just essentially means we adjourn it for six months. You never have to come back. It's, it's like having another court date. For no, next month, no, but, except then it doesn't. But you don't have the court date. Right. It just gets it's like that. It's like being in between court dates, but then the right. next, but then the next one comes exactly down like and, and it's on. Yeah. Except uh, it's not. I, I would have to read the details, make sure I'm not entering into something that, you know. And uh, you know, three months of this is a <clears throat> this is a burden on me. No, I hope you understand that. Yeah, it um, may not be a burden. I'm not entering into contracts with that, you know. I, you know, because um, that guy hands me a card when I was here before. I guess that text that serves the process, but um, I'm, I'm not signing something that's gonna um, that's binding me into a contract because uh, there there is no contract, and I, I um, I'm not leaving here um, under contract. If, if you understand. All you do, all you do is you accept it on the record, okay? It's recorded in there. The court, the court records all the appearances, okay? All you do is you just accept the terms on the record, okay? If you want to see something in writing, we can make that happen with the conditions. Well, yeah, it's been a lot of tricks. I, I, I can't say that I um, understand something that I haven't had time to um, you know, carefully. Uh, you understand what I told you? You know, it's a, it's, it's a, one, it's a one no, no. It's a one page document. And I mean, I, I can get a copy of it and I can show it to you right here and go through it with you. But like I said, I'm just trying to make it so that you don't have to come back to this court ever again. It's no admission of guilt. It doesn't bind you to anything. Because I don't accept the things that have been, you know. And it's no admission of anything like that. It's no admission of guilt. Like you said, the way you put it, it's perfect. It's just like. It's just like in between court dates, the only difference is you don't have to come back at the next one. It just gets dismissed with prejudice and you never have to come back to these charges ever again. So either way, it is your last court date if you accept it. If right. you don't accept it, then I have no choice, but then we got to go through all of it and then we got to go to trial and that's going to take another six months that you're going to be dealing with this and coming back all the time and we're going to set up a trial date. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Today, you never have to come back. Because uh, you know, I was in jail. I was jail for this. You know, there's a lot of. Um, it's not going to be over for me. Uh, it'll be over for you for that. You know, but I, I just don't want to drag it out. This is a better. Well, and we don't have to drag it out anymore. Like, yeah, all we got is dragging it out. So, you know, what's the difference between just dismissing it? You know, the the last time we're in here. Telling me that you're going to just at a future date. I'm so, not. We're not going to actively so, dismiss it. What this is is it's an adjournment, an adjournment in contemplation of dismissal. So it means the adjournment part we adjourn for the three months, okay? And during those three months, if I, as the prosecutor, do not see any reason bring back the charges and pursue these charges, then I then the case just gets dismissed automatically. We don't come here and dismiss it on the record. It just gets dropped off the face here. It's uh, like, a, like a dismissal um, without prejudice with an expiration date kind of? Uh, sure. I mean, but yes, but no, because it was more like you said, like, it's it, more like this. It, it was. It was more like you said it before, where you're just. It's just like in between dates. But yeah, I mean, if you want to look at it that way, that's, that's that that works too. It's it's kind of kind of of without prejudice, and the without prejudice has an expiration date. Kind of, yeah, because otherwise.
Well, I was just thinking you could come back a year and say, oh, bringing this back. Sure. You'd have to have a good reason to go over Sure. But then at the end of that, at the end of that three months, dismissed with prejudice, it's gone. You never have to come back and be charged again. After saying you never have to come back and be charged there's again. There's no, uh, this, you know, there's no hidden fee or, any, you know, no that there's going to be some kind of no um, connection with the guilt. You know, I got one for both of them. No fees, no, no fees, no admission of guilt, nothing. Who I talked to about getting, um, you know, restraining order against these, these local uh, policemen? I don't know the answer. You'd have to talk to somebody who's got the uh, yeah. You know, they, 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 uh, they try to roll me in here on this, on this uh, stuff, you know, but it's very, very difficult if you can't and stumble up someone blocks in my past, you know, to, for justice. Look, I, I understand you've gone through what you've gone through, okay? You, you, have you got, believe uh, I'm, I'm sure I don't. You lived a long life and I just met you a, a few months ago. And it's only been in this day, okay? Yep. So all I'm trying to do is just make it so that this case is just off the ball of us, all right? You never have to come back to this again and I never have to see you back here again. Okay, so this is what the enduring contemplation of this missile looks like. Okay. It's one page then.
So we're, okay, yeah. we're going to come back next month. Yeah, but this one is an adjournment and contemplation dismissal. So we're doing that. Right every right time it is. You can be free to contemplate dismissal. No, the difference is it's going to come back. It's just automatic. It's going guarantee it's going to be dismissed.
us, but uh, it's, it's being, uh, I'm getting the runaround to, about, about obtaining evidence, you know, and I'm supposed to say the compulsory process for obtaining witnesses is my favorite, and uh, I think they'll include evidence that I know exists. And, you know, there's a, there's a plethora of it, you know, for interviews of the evidence. So, <laughs> Right. 
nine and four, we don't see each other again. Okay. I just um, you know, I'll take out that number two. Faithfully too, that you know that's. I'm taking out the whole number. I always take some good faith. I'm taking out the whole number two. The whole number two is out. That whole line. Taking out that whole number two. It's just it's, it's an adjournment. Correct. Taking out that entire number two. Whole line's going to be gone. Everything about the seeking work faithfully. That number two standard is going to be gone. Everywhere it says defendant, I'll, I'll make it man. You will? Yep. And what's the time period going to be? I'll make the time period three months. You want to do make it two? Um, I already met you three months. Well, let's do three and, months. Um, I'm going to send it all right reserved.
come back ever again. Not on that day. There's no documentation because it's just it's just gone.
indicated that I um, reserve all my rights at all times when I'm signing it on. Yeah, yeah, second. Yeah, second. Second. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't usually show up on a copy as well. that the original copy has the raised field, mm -hmm. and you can see how it, it, we copy it as best we can. Yeah. But if you ever need one, the original. Yeah. But if you ever need one, you can request a copy. On this, same thing on this one too. So. The court keeps the original. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can, so but you can always request. Them. You can always, if you ever need to, you can make a formal request for the. Your Honor, can we just do the certification on these forms for the certified copy? Same points where the Transcribe all of it, and then you would get a copy again. That's always painful. 